Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Joe from MakeUseOf.com and this is the Dobot Moose. It's a 3-in-1 industrial grade machine priced at $700. It's a 3D printer, CNC machine and laser engraver combined. The Moose is extremely well made. It's all metal construction and modular design ensure it stands out in a very crowded market. Moose is designed with four identical modular linear actuators. These parts contain everything required to move the machine in one axis. The sealed units each contain a stepper motor, linear rail, drive screw and end stops. While they can be disassembled for repair or maintenance, the self-contained design means it's super quick to assemble and you don't have to spend hours finally adjusting each axis. Each axis bolts onto the solid metal base and then connects to the brain with a single RJ45 connector. It's all a very simple and straightforward affair. Three different modules can be quickly swapped out in minutes rather than seconds. Each module is designed for a different function. These are 3D printing, CNC machining and laser engraving. The machine bed where your finished part sits comes in two different styles. A heated bed is provided for 3D printing and a vice-like bed is provided for CNCing. These beds bolt onto the rail with four bolts and Dobot have cleverly included four oblong shaped holes in the base so you can change beds without having to remove any other parts. The included touchscreen controller controls the moves and this looks like a small smartphone. A small magnet on the base holds it to the unit. The interface is rather basic but it gets the job done. Lasers are quite possibly the coolest toys around. So using one to engrave designs is amazing. You'll need to wear the included eye protection, but apart from that, operating the laser is a simple process. The laser is a rather pathetic 0.5 watts. It's possible to purchase a 1.5 watt module, but that still is not powerful enough to really get things cutting. The laser is only really powerful enough to cut paper. It's not able to cut wood, plastic, metal or glass. But what it is really good at, however, is engraving. This burns the surface of your material and produces a permanent etching. This could be for words, artwork or photos, a bit like a tattoo for objects. This works really well, but you'll need to experiment with materials. Leather and softwood produce excellent results, but you have a hard time etching metal. Despite being so small, this laser is 100% electricity based. This means there are no costly CO2 tubes to change or mirrors to balance and protect. It means the moves can be small and light but at the expense of laser power. The laser works at an optimum focal length or focusing height. For each material you use, you'll need to experiment to figure out the best height, speed and power. Moving on to CNC machining, this is where things get interesting. By spinning a cutting tool at high speed and moving it around a material, you can carve out complex shapes and patterns. As it's made of solid metal, the moose has no problem CNCing designs. You won't be able to cut metal, but most plastics and softwoods work well. If you need to produce a very deep carving, then you can make multiple passes until the desired depth is reached. By spinning the tool at 12,000 RPM, the moose makes a huge noise. Not only that, but you'll get timber shavings and sawdust all over the place. We highly recommend using the CNC module in a garage or workshop away from your house. To prevent dirt from getting inside the mechanical workings, a small cover is included. The CNC module produces excellent results and a stunning level of detail can be achieved. This is the perfect tool for carving logos or small designs and even PCB manufacturing. 3D printing is possibly the main selling point of the Moose. Producing objects by pushing molten plastic around is always exciting to watch and the Moose doesn't disappoint. The rugged metal design is almost overkill for simple 3D prints, but it ensures a solid and stable base that is more than capable of producing amazing quality. The Moose works like the majority of other 3D printers on the market. Using fused deposition modeling, it produces objects one layer at a time. A large cooling fan is constantly running, but the Moose is generally quiet when 3D printing. A heated bed is included and a total build volume of 130mm is possible. A reasonable maximum speed of 80mm per second is achievable and a minimum layer height of 0.05mm is excellent. While the extruder is a sealed unit, it can be disassembled for maintenance. It's surprisingly easy to install filament and start printing. You don't need to cover the bed with special tape or glue and the plastic surface provides the perfect base for prints to stick to. As you would expect from such a pricey machine, the print quality is fantastic. It's surprising just how well prints come out and how it just works. You'll need to spend some time perfecting speeds and temperatures for your own prints 
or if you want to experiment with different materials, but the factory provided models are all ready to go. By using a solid metal design, industrial grade parts and self-contained modules, the Moose is able to achieve an accuracy and ease of use which is almost unmatched in this price range. The machine won't shake itself to pieces or vibrate your table so much that it must be placed in another room. The laser can be smelly and the CNC generates a lot of noise and a big mess, but most machines will do this. Quite possibly the easiest to assemble 3D printer we've ever used, the Moose just works. It can be assembled in less than an hour and enables even a complete novice to produce stunning designs. With a bit of practice and tweaking for different materials, environments and speeds, you can create jaw-dropping artwork. If you're on a budget, it's possible to purchase the Moose without the laser and CNC modules and buy those at a later date. The only downside to the Moose is the speed. Quality comes at a price, so don't expect to manufacture on demand at a craft fair, for example. It's simply too slow. Thanks for watching guys and make sure you visit the link in the description below where you can read our full review. Leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you've not done so already. Hey guys, if you visit the link in the description below, you can enter our giveaway contest to win this machine. If you want some extra entries into our contest, enter the code PLASTIC into our giveaway box.